Hello everyone, it's Jaegerfly, and welcome to Quiet Time. More of what I went through, from a month and a half in the hospital, I chose to define my own destiny and change a few things about myself. Hopefully, this will help you. Some decisions I made to change, outlook on life, and my perspective. So much more I will talk to you about in the future episodes. I want to share my message, my story with you, in the hope I can impact at least one person. Try and find two or three things you want to improve about yourself, and I will talk to you about what I chose. Then, if you have it, choose one. Choose one thing you want to remove completely, and I will share how I accomplish that. Let's start with positive affirmations. Keep repeating out loud. I am no longer. I feel. And then fill in the blank like, I am no longer lonely, self-conscious. Or I am no longer concerned of my appearance, my body, and I will improve. I feel strong. I feel happy. I feel amazing. Everything is energy. Heighten your emotions through positive thoughts. With time, you will adjust your emotions. You will feel the positive change in your life through a constant stream of belief, hope, perseverance, and number one, consistency. Consistency, I believe, is most important. Through being consistent, I feel the change daily, and so will you. Duplication. Try a process I call duplication. Now either visualize a full representation of yourself, body and mind, or if you need to, go up to a mirror and remember what we talked about earlier. The two things you want to change about yourself, whether it may be physical or mental. And if you have it, that one thing you want to rip out and remove completely. When I was out of the hospital, I knew I wanted to evolve if I were to stay alive. I first chose to work mentally. If I was to survive, I had to strengthen my mind. So I kept repeating to myself, I am stronger. My kidneys will heal. I have no liver failure over and over and a lot of praying it is very humbling and life-changing the way you perceive life goals and yourself before and after almost dying so what I want you to do is say something to the effect of my life has meaning purpose and nothing will, not can, nothing will stop me from achieving what I desire. I am successful. I will be successful. Repeat it. I am successful. I will be successful. And if one of those things you chose is physical, isolate what you want to change and use your mind to motivate you. Walk 10-15 minutes a day for a week, then double it, releasing all those feel-good chemicals. Or lift weights, whatever the case may be. It is 1000% achievable through a positive mind and maintaining a grounded goal. When you have a grounded goal, 
goal you have set yourself to motivate. It is 1000% achievable through a positive mind and maintaining a grounded goal you have set for yourself to achieve. Not someone else's opinion, yours and yours alone. Remember, this is about your happiness. Now onto that one thing you want to remove completely. For myself, finally being home, still had dialysis. Recovery far, far from over. I chose to cut out the tumor of anger and regret. Now everyone is different. When I was in the hospital in the beginning, angry that my entire family was suffering, angry that this BS was happening to me, and angry that my life did a full 360 backflip and I was 10,000 feet below water. So what I did and still do to remove any anger is through positive affirmations and meditation. Also try to think of my perspective. When you feel rational or irrational emotions, I am about to get really teed off and angry. I take a deep breath and I say, Trevor, you're not supposed to make it out of the hospital, let alone live. Stop this. This anger is useless and unbeneficial to anyone. You are alive. So remind yourself to take a deep breath. Know what you are feeling only harms yourself physically and mentally and hurts those around you. If you are sad, remember a thought that brings you back to joy. Then look at a goal. Pick a goal you want to achieve. Grab a pen, a piece of paper, and spend 10 minutes plotting out the steps and actions required to achieve this goal. Think of nothing else, and by being positive about your future, your brain will produce serotonin which, duh, makes you happy, but also will release the chemical dopamine, which is produced more through motivation and positive habits. This is why I keep saying to repeat things like positive affirmations, I am's, and I feel. Dopamine will motivate you to take action towards your goals, desires, and needs. And don't forget, when it comes to regret, it serves no purpose. Throw those thoughts away and look to the positive future you are creating for yourself each and every moment. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.